Miss Kana, Miss Paimon, hello. I'm Xiao Mao, a friend of mountains. Yes, that's what my name means. Hotmong Tang can be a bit hard to pronounce, so I just asked Xiao Mao to call me that. Really? Quite an interesting pair. How did you two meet? It was quite fortuitous. Last year, I went to the mountains in the south for a spell and got lost in the fog. A huge beast the size of Cal, Etienne Louis, was staring at me. It was glaring at me, and I thought it was done for. But just then, a little kid suddenly shouted at me. I followed the sound through the mist and got out and was saved. Otherwise, I would have been eaten, just like that, and my family in Fontaine wouldn't have even been able to claim compensation on my account. I know more about what goes on in the mountains than the grown-ups. Is that so? You're amazing, Xiao Mao. Uh, we're here about the tea cauldron in Chaoying Village. All right, got it. I'll be there in a jiffy. <sighs> All the shows here are just too good. I ended up watching several, one right after the other. Now my legs have fallen asleep, but I just can't understand a word. What sorts of stories are they telling? It's about how way back when a huge carp and a monster from the mountains fought. A uh, you kill me, I kill you story. In the end, everyone dies. Ah, uh, that's a pretty concise summary. But don't talk about killing and dying so much, Xiao Mao. If you think about that stuff too often, you might become the villain when you grow up. Since those in Tiao Ying village are waiting on me, it's time to go. See you all later. Go watch the shows again when you're here when you're about to head back to Fontaine. Mission accomplished. Okay, now that we solved the puzzle, we can get back to business. Xiao Mao, how about you? What are you two going to do? Hmm. To be honest, we're not quite sure how to explain it. The water and soil in Chen Yu Vale are kind of out of whack, and we need to cure them for everything in Chen Yu Vale to get better. I get it. Miss Paimon is trying to say that we need to restore nature. Hey, that's right! You're really amazing, Xiao Mao. We got it right away. Restoring nature, you say? Did someone talk to you about that? That's right. A friend who's always taking good care of me. She wants to restore nature, too. If we restore nature, everything will get better, so I want to help, too. She also told me about you, too. Oh? Uh -huh. So you've seen her, too? Huh? You mean my friend? Of course. Silly Miss Paimon, how could we be friends if I'd never seen her? Fair point. That makes things easier. Actually, we want to... Paimon remembers we need to find the jade treasures in the water and then do some rain jade, right? But even though we've come upstream, we still haven't found any clues. Ah, I know. Come with me. I'll show you where to look. Huh? Is it really that easy? Xiao Mao, your friend wants to restore nature, right? Yeah. She told me a lot, such as stories from before Chaoying Village became Chaoying Village. How the tea trees came to be and more. She said that things will get worse and worse in Chen Yu Vale if the natural order isn't restored. Ah, <sighs> looks like we're on the same page then. Now Mao, you just said you know where we could find leads, right? Yeah, I don't know if it'll help, but when you mentioned jade treasures and rain jade stuff, I just thought of it. Come with me. Yeah, let's go! Hello, Xiao Mao. Wow, just like Apothecary Diaries. Guard for hire in the city. E merchant. The Monstat man. No, I was actually recently looking for more lotus seeds. This place has so many lotus flowers. It's great. I was running out of things to plant in my teapot. Treasure chest should be out here. <laughs> what 
the heck? Wait, maybe it's in the... Rose nest? Oh, it's up there. Oh, yeah, it is. Alright. Let's climb... Oh, oh, there's a blue thing up here too. Alright, perfect. Alright. Carefully. That does not help. Oh god. You know what? Maybe I gotta go to this side. Are you too tall? Oh my god, you might be too tall. Very cool. Wahoo! Oh god. All right, now we can get this one. Person. Oh. There's one there. That's fine. I'm liking this. Ah, Rip ZX, thanks for the follow. Hope you enjoy your stay here. Chest? No chest. Very nice plaza. Ah, this is so nice. One here. <laughs> oh, wait, no, never mind. It won't be in the way, no. Sometimes there are chests in the water. I've been here. No. The fall of Xiao Mao, but there's very far now. Was I here? What is, is this a side entrance? This seems to be a side entrance into the village. Oh, it's the other exit. All right. All right, we went too far. Okay. Let's try here. Why would this bridge go into a wall? Oh, wait, JK. It's a plaza. Again. Right, let's see that this it's on this bridge. Ooh. Okay, but why is the why is this here? Is this shows for the aesthetic and views. Oh, the chest just up here this whole time. All right, let me look at this building. Tea merchants. My shoe boss of the tea house. Looks so nice. Oh, I can't talk to this guy. Where are the mer recipe merchants? Make some bamboo. Rest up here. Doggy? Is that a fontaine? Grand image consultant. Oh wait, this is just goes up here again. Milius. Oh, the Milius are out here too. The one's laundry. No chests. Unless they're like on top of the roof.
Hmm. Now the closest one is down there. This place is pretty big. Guard for hire. Ooh, remarkable chest. Ooh, a lamp. Being a commercial guild messenger. What do you mean? There's a chest up there. Less? No, it's on the water. Okay, let's uh let's go to find Xiaomao first though. Oh we went all the way back? Oh we did. Why is there random Who needs help? I don't see where that is. Alright, anyway. Three percent. I'm gonna take this before I forget about it. Oh, he's down there. do this. Watch your step. There's moss on the cliff. It's a little slippery. You're the one that needs to be careful. No one can fly after all. Uh, how do we get up? Okay, that worked. Cool. What does this... Okay, I guess that just solves that? Oh, gee, shout out Hi! How have you been? Hope you've been good. Rocks here seems a little blue, so be careful. Now this is what we call an adventuring expert... Some... I don't know what she said. Oh, yeah, you're amazing, Miss Kana. Yeah. I I keep forgetting, Chiamo, think his little boy. When I get thirty primos from watching stream, let's go. There's more water in there than before. Maybe I'll have to swim next time. Wahoo drops. Thank you for the wonderful yeah. gift, Kana. You're welcome, Jeremy. You started playing 14 again with Bear. <gasps> Yay! Did you figure out where you were at? Or did you take advantage of the free days? You started over as a white mage. Ooh, wait, so like fresh account, fresh everything? Get another roll towards Sien Yun. Sorry, maybe I should play 14. Yeah, stop playing League. A huge claw marks and paw prints, like some sort of huge wild beast up on them behind. Yeah, huge, right? Oh, I know what this is. This is gonna be that new, um, that new boss for the world, that big wolfy boy. Oh, wait, is this a two player puzzle? <gasps> wait, can I push this? Oh my god, friend. Okay, the easiest thing to do would to put a Zhongli pillar there, but 
this this one seems more fun this is the way oh <gasps> yes stay there all right thanks oh god Woohoo! Oh. All right, wait. Let's walk up proper. Mm hmm. You quit league and break. Oh, okay. Nice. So you have your actual free trial now. Did Bear also restart? Damn. A lot of people starting up 14 again. Anybody ever play both? No, don't play both. You'll be overloaded. Doing ARR again is a pain but in the butt, but it's nice to be able to restart with prior knowledge of what to do. Yeah! While making a static, correct? No! Bear's playing on her own account? Ah, oh, then carry. Okay. That, that works. This is it! It's the clue I wanted to show you before, right here! What on T-Bot is that? It's so covered in must that Paimon can't make heads or tails of it. Hmm? Huh? There wasn't any moss last time I came here. No need to worry, Litsyama. It's so humid in here that there's no wonder there's so much moss going everywhere. There must be a way to clear it. Moss came loose. Woohoo! Look! Kana, look! It's a scene of ancient people attending a festival and performing a ritual. Pretty different from the festivals we have today, huh? Although the grown-ups in the city and the village all say that the Lord of Geo was the first to arrive in Chen Yu Vale, I heard that the people in the picture actually got here even earlier than he did. People back then used to throw bits of magic jade into the river, and they'd float along until they sank to the bottom. They saw it as a way to guarantee good weather, prevent the river from flooding, and ensure that the soil would be fertile. Based on what we previously discussed, I'm guessing that Chenyu Vale will be only be fixed after we found some jade that was thrown into the river in ancient times. That makes sense, doesn't it? Wow, you're so knowledgeable. Was your friend also the one who told you these stories? These legends are fascinating. Yeah, and... Everyone will be really blessed and live happily ever after and all that. <sighs> but I much prefer hearing her stories about ancient wars and battles. She told me that warriors back then were all giants who were all over ten feet tall. The warriors of Chenru village were covered in tattoos and they had these massive jade axes that could chop a person in half in the blink of an eye. And the Milius, led by none other than the Lord of Geo himself, were even tougher. They clad themselves in suits of armor that weighed over a thousand pounds and fought with hundred pound spears. Apparently, everyone was at war back then. So much so that Bishui River turned crimson red. Later on, the mountains to the south became full of ghosts from that area. era. Even now, those who wander through the mountains might still be able to catch their singing on the wind. Ah. I think these stories are meant for kids. Yeah, it sounds terrifying. Mountains, right. You shouldn't dwell on this stuff all the time. <laughs> There's no way grown-ups would tell us these stories. They always say we're too young to hear them, that they'll turn us rotten and stuff like that. But I'm old enough already. Hearing a story's not going to turn me into a monster. Besides, there aren't many adults still around who know these stories anyway. If my friend hadn't told me, I wouldn't have even known the stories about this picture. Okay, fine then. Guess we'll move on. So, the grown-ups were right to say that those ancient people threw the jade into the river from somewhere high up. But where exactly? And where did all the jade flow off to? Hmm, well it must have sunk to the bottom, right? Not that simple. If it was thrown into somewhere upriver, even if it sank to the bottom, it would still be pushed down the river by the current, let alone after so many years. Besides, I've never heard talk of any ancient ritual jade being found upriver. Chenyu Vale is a small place after all. If there had been such rumors, everyone would already know about them. Not so much. You're a future scholar material for sure. But what if I don't want to be a scholar? You don't earn much more. That sounds like no much f sounds like no fun. Then become a travel.
people just like us. What could be more fun than adventuring in the, around the world? Where is... wait. Never mind, I'm not playing this game. How she... how else am I supposed to get catfished? What? Are you trying to get catfished, Jerry? I mean, a Canadian static might be fun. Sure. I, if we were all on the same data center, which we are... I mean, yeah, which we are not. I think Bear and Shadow are in EU. Where's Faker? A static is a raid. It's like a static group, a set group of people that you raid, do raid content with. So like savages and stuff usually. Yeah, Bear and Shout out of you. Hmm. Seeing as we now know the site of the rain raid, right? What should we do next? Let's observe how the river flows. If we want to see how the river flows... Maybe it would be a good idea to watch... To try the tall watchtower over at Yilong Wharf? You're a clever one, Miss Paimon. Of course! I want to take another look around. Okay, let me know when you're ready. Did I get everything? Oh, I think I did. <coughs> Alright, let's go. Can we go? Yes. Alright then. Look! From up here, you can clearly see how the river f moves faster through these narrows, then slows down again as the ri river widens out. The jade must have stopped there. We should find what we're looking for there. Wow, you're such a real whiz kid. Someone's been wondering, though. What's that massive thing in the distance? That huge thing is a jade mouth. A legendary jade ring that an adeptus threw into the water. Oh, but the river curves around there, so the, ri the current should actually speed up. But the river gradually gets wider there. Yeah, so the rapid flow around the bend might have resulted in things being deposited along the convex bank where it widens. So there's actually a good chance that the jade is at the bottom of the river somewhere around Jade Mouth. Of course, that's assuming that the course of the river hasn't, ar hasn't been artificially altered. Not to mention, there's a fisherman's legend that goes something like, Jade shall rise from the sunken mouth, or something like that. Anyway, let's go over and take a look around first. Compared to Xiao Mao, Paimon feels like she's totally out of her depth. <laughs> because my friend's amazing. She knows everything there is to know about mountains, and she taught me loads too. That's how I've learned so much. Sorry, Paimon, you just need better friends. Uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, you unblocked the cave and got rid of that moss in the flash after all, and I have no idea how you even did that. I'm just kidding, don't overthink it. Whatever the case, let's go down and take get on the bamboo raft. Oh, yeah! Jade Mouth, here we come! When we want to read as a static, we all fly to white one country. A weekly flight. No. So far, it seems like you're going to be pure healer main for foreseeable future. Wahoo! You can still stabby stabby with your uh, AO, uh, with your damage over time and stuff, and you know, your other attacks. You'll be fine, Shadow Daddy. You want to play White Mage to learn healing, so you can play Astrology and win for each Heaven Sword. You wanted to dance. You want Dancer to be your DPS class, but it's not unlockable in the free trial. Ah, okay. Yes. I love astrology and because of all the pretty effects. There's a lot of button pressing though. But I'm sure you'll be fine, Bear. Uh, with with Bear and everything. As long as like 
um, one of you... Like, as long as you have each other, you guys will be fine. Um, because... If... Having an incompetent DPS or tank as you're running through roulettes is just very annoying. I don't know what class bear plays, but, like, having at least someone else there makes it so much more nice. Oh, she's a tank mate! Alright, you guys are set. You guys have instant cues and everything. You won't have to wait. And yeah. Wahoo! Oh, <gasps> tea eggs. There is very poggy woggy. That's why DPS main cues. Yeah, that's why it's always best to play with at least one friend. That is not a DPS or is willing to swap off of DPS so you can get instant cues. Where's this guest take me? Look at that bamboo raft. Guess we got a boat to take now. I I just wanna go over here real quick. Can I capture a squirrel? No. This was not my intention. Oh god. Hi, Haro! Doing well, how are you? This way? Um... Oh my god! <laughs> This is not working correctly. Oh god. <laughs> Why can't I go upwards? Oh wait, I, I see, I see. I have to go this way. Yeah, Haro, I hope you've been doing well. That cave looks suspicious. But I can't go in there right now. Unless... Shit. Shit, never mind. Okay, uh, I'm gonna just take a little peek. Oh. You know what? That looks like a seal. Never mind. Well. Wait a sec. Oh. Other goddess statues on the other side. Damn, this place looks like a painting. I'm going the wrong way. Mm. 
Good boy. Five percent. One coming aboard? Wait, that's Yamal? Come, come, I'll take you. All right, Boatman, take us to Jade Mouth. All right, Jade Mouth it is. The other two, your tourists? <laughs> well, if you're here for sightseeing, there are not many locals. <sighs> you could say that. Well, man, are there any stories about the Jade Mouth that I haven't heard before? Knowing you and how much you love your stories, kiddo, you must have heard them all by now. Tell me more! Tell me more! All right, then. Well, I've heard it mentioned that the Jade Mouth was left behind by Rex Lapis when he marched through here to save the people of Chenyu Vale. Legend has as it took that to prevent a naval advance from downstream, the local adepti. You're making it up as you go again, Gramps. There's no way that Liyue's navy came up this river. I've heard that Jade Mouth was formed by a piece of jade left behind by a giant carp. In those days, a batty god tried to redirect the river to drown the Mililith, the station on both banks of the both of the banks in Chenyu Vale. But a giant white snake and a giant carp who were Sub her subordinates disobeyed her orders. She threw the jades she wore here. The jades pinned the river down, and ever since then we've had no more floods, and everyone can live peaceful lives on both sides of the river. You might understand a lot, kiddo, but you haven't seen much. Take a closer look. There aren't any crops by this river. See, after it was pinned down by the jades, it's true that the river hasn't flooded, but that also meant it hasn't been able to provide irrigation for crops. But what was once a wide, gently flowing river t t is today a narrow one. Such a river leaves no sustenance for the earth on its banks. Ha! <laughs> the sides, of course. That also means no people living peaceful lives on both of its sides. Come on, Getsu now. But did you say that the Death Dive was were resisting the Lord of Geo? That's how it was all that time ago. Some people believe that the first lord of all the year was Rex Lapis, but in Chen Yu Vale, we believe that before he came, there were other gods and adepti who protected our ancestors. I've heard Grandpa Lu say that the tea ceremony is actually for the carp adeptus who planted our first tea tree. Huh. And aren't these adepti meant to be baddies? They were serving under a baddie god after all. Why are we calling the bad guys baddies? In some stories, they're the baddies, while in others, they're the goodies, but it was all such a long, long time ago. Even the grown-ups don't remember much, so they always try to bluff me. Why are we calling villains and heroes this? <laughs> Talking about that friend of yours again. Uh, how can such supernatural beings be held to our simple codes of right and wrong? As far as we're all concerned, all the forces that have ever blessed and protected this land deserve our offerings. Uh, there you go again. Alright then, time to get off. We're here. Thanks, Gramps! As the river breeze blows, you hitch a ride something. We're here! This is the Jade Mouth! Such a huge chunk of jade, and even the other pieces on it are massive. Whoever it was that threw it down, Adeptus or not, must have been absolutely huge. Adepti come in all shapes and sizes. They could all be as tall as clouds, or some small enough to hide against the pool and leaf. Ah, uh, well, TLDR. Adept, I rule. I want this box. Oh, there's two boxes. Wait, maybe I should bring that out. That's no guy, that's a bird. Oh, I'm drowning. The signs say. Oh, there's no sign. There's a shrine, though. No 
one's notes, the spring cries ripple through the veils. The shrines depart from northeast shores, the heights and shells on the south side hide, and sun and earth from each other divide the eternal whirlpool that never churns. We have found the two shrines the legend speaks of, and it seems they too are related to our ancestors in the mountains, but the meaning of the folk song mentioned above remains unclear. We don't have a clue what to do here, we're just running around like headless chickens. Everyone got really worked up when they heard our comrades excavating and shipping antiques. And shipping antiques already made big more. Who knows how much longer we'll have to stick around here. Lower? Oh. Well, here's the Jade Mouth, but how are you gonna find all that Jade underwater? Nah, so that's how it is. Spring's cries ripple through the veils. The shrines depart from northeast shores. The heights and shells in the southwest hide, and sun and earth from each other divide. The eternal whirlpool that never churns, the beautiful Jade concealed within. What's that Xiao Mao singing about? That's pretty complicated. It's one of our local folk songs. I heard it a gra old granny singing it as she was gathering herbs. It means if you look out from the center of the river to the banks on either side, you'll see two stone shrines hidden to the northwest and the southwest. These shrines keep the mighty whirlpool in the center suppressed. I might understand the last bit. So the jade is all hidden beneath the whirlpool? Yep. Sounds like we're going treasure. Sounds like we're going treasure hunting. Hooray! But the area between the northeast and southwest is so huge. After all, in a broad sense, the northeast and southwest of Jade Mouth can include pretty much the whole world. You're always thinking outside the box, Miss Paimon, but there's no need to worry. I've already had have an idea where the shrines will be because, well, my friend told me. Come on, let's roll. I have a question. Does anyone else think a giant maelstrom suddenly appearing here might not be too good? Yeah, wouldn't that mean boats will no longer be able to sail in and out of Elon Wharf? Oh, don't worry about that. My friend told me that once we're done with what we need to beneath, the whirlpool will disappear completely. Otherwise, how would all the bo old boatmen carry on making a living? Now, it was not just a smart whirlpool, but a considerate one to boot. Let's get going then. I'm just gonna trust this. Investigate the stone tr I was just there. Wowie. Wait, there's treasure hunters now. Oh. <laughs> Oh, who dares disturb the tranquility of this place? Turn over all your possessions to quench the fury of the Adeptus. <laughs> Treasure Hooters, where's all this Adepti here talk coming from? That's a lot of people. Been made. These mugs are regular heat packing brunos. Dust out and clear the smoke, he said. I was just here. Wow. She's really right about you. You're definitely not ordinary. He's definitely talking about routine. Something glowing here between the pearls? Glowing where? Between the pearls? 
I supposed to go here even? Difference. Okay. Yeah. I wonder if we'll just be taken here. Very suspicious cave. And that statue of the goddess is quite close. Is that a copy pasta? They, re they actually wanted me to skip this. Is there anyone here? The goat and squirrels. It's locked. <laughs> What's this? How about we try using your temple energy? Be the children. I'm trying. <laughs> oh wait, is it like Not this? How does this work? Javelin. How did you do this? Oh, I see. Never mind, I got it. Wait, it changed colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Passing it back and forth. Got it. Well, guess that settles it. Go back beneath the jade. Wow, oh, you're amazing. Even my friend couldn't do anything about these shrines. <laughs> Not that right. See what's up here. When the chest in thirty seconds? Where is it? <laughs> 
遗珠弃璧，极光片球。Suspicious， 这什么？那个 suspicious thing。Oh, it's supposed. To, okay, that's just a permanent fixture. Lit up. What pearls? Huh? We haven't seen the whirlpool from the song yet. What should we do next? How about giving that adeptal energy of yours a try, Kana? Try using your adeptal <coughs> energy. To what? Go back beneath the jade. What? Did I do something wrong? I did. Try using your adeptal energy. Look! Look! The whirlpool's up here, just like the song said! Jump into the whirlpool, he says. Okay... Hey look, it's Rex Lapis. Ooh, fish. Wow! Just like the legend says, a gold carp! Huh? Do it again! Adept is Fujin? Fujin? He doesn't even know! Oh. Damn, I don't even know. He's so fun. My god. Pew pew. Oop. Okay, let's grab all the treasure before we move forward. Oh, is there a boat down here? Nope, never mind. Yeah. Oh, is, is this thing sick? No, it doesn't seem like it. Anna, hi, man. We meet again. And who might this be? met before? This is Yamal. Uh, he's helped us so much along the way. No, we haven't met before. But you must be a good child, Yamal. Hello, and yes, that's me. Miss, are you an Adeptus? You are, aren't you? This is Adeptus Fujin. <laughs> Thanks for all the help you've given Kana and Paimon, Yamal. It's really the legendary Fujin in the flesh! I can't believe this! I've heard so many stories about you, and now that I know you're not some kind of big slippery carp, but a lady instead, like a big sister. Uh, big carp? Honestly, what kind of stories have you been listening to, Xiaomiao? <clears throat> well, 
one is indeed an adeptus, and as such can take forms as one pleases. This particular form seems like the most approachable one for, for conversing with humans. Oh my god, she is a big fish. Hmm, from what you said, you have a very unique sense, Yamal. Have you met someone in the mountains before? Someone with red eyes and a fair complexion, perhaps? Uh, not exactly. Uh, Uji Xiaojie, you're not talking about one of your other friends, are you? My friend from the mountains doesn't sparkle like you do, but she's also really cool. She's helped me tons and taught me loads. So it was her after all. So your friend was an adeptus Fujin. So your friend was an adeptus Fujin after all, huh? But Fujin Xiaoji is my friend too now, isn't she? Of course, Xiaomo. I'm delighted to have made friends with you. Xiaomo's met other adepti? As for whether Xiaomo's friend counts as an adeptus or not, I'm not quite sure myself. After all, Adeptus is merely a title, and it's hard to say whether Adept are even people. The word Adeptus is just like any other word, such as hero, villain, or idiot. No one is born an Adeptus, and no one shall remain an Adeptus forever. That's true. So you've met that friend of Xiao Mao's that we're talking about, right? Indeed, but it's been a long, long time since I last saw her. So now... I suspect that I don't know her half as well as Xiao Mao does. I'm not even sure if I still count if I still count as her friend. According to what Xiao Mao said, his friend wants to restore nature. I would imagine so. Anyway, I must ask you all to please take this piece of the votive rain jade. I had originally hoped it might remain here. The same as it ever was, but I never expected it to grow quite so large. <sighs> I used to love it so. This rain jade that you just mentioned, did it rain down or did or make it rain or something? Of course not. After the great changes in our geology, our ancestors of the people of Chen Yu Vale lost their ability to communicate with the heavens and lost the guidance of emissaries whose beauty was as pure as moonlight. Henceforth, they began to take jade, which glowed as gently as the light of the moon, and cast it into the river. As they did this, they would pray for good omens, for fertile land, for clement weather, and for the riverbanks to hold strong. Over time, these rituals grew in power until one day. One day. Uji Xiaojie, what happened next? One day, the long war to become the gods would reign over this world began. Afterward, this tradition lost all its meaning, but though it was forgotten, its name is still passed down over generations. To cut a long story short, this piece of votive ranged before us was the very last one to ever be thrown. Just as the part above the surface, when commanded by an adeptal art, can be made large enough to stop a flood, its core, too, has been swollen by uncontrolled adeptal energy. Much of its power has dissipated into the surrounding area through spirit veins. This power may also have affected the nearby flora and fauna, attracting and even making aberrations of them. You must be careful. The... Uh, what? As far as I can tell, the adeptal energy that has dissipated nearby should be sufficient to reawaken the hibernating votive rain jade. If this is the case, we're one step closer to achieving our goal of nursing the water and soil back to health. Ah, uh, how should I say this? Kana and Paimon, thank you both. You're doing an amazing thing by choosing to help me, you know. And Xiaomao, will you help me too? Will you help out your big sis? Of course! I want to restore nature too. Is that so? Oh, that's good. You're very smart, Xiaomao. You'll understand everything later. Alright, then let us go our separate ways for now. Once you've retrieved the adeptal energy filled votive rain jade, we'll meet again by a deep pool shrouded and clad in mist to the south. South? Got it! Ah! She's gone and disappeared again! Oh well, let's just do what Big Sis. What? Let's just do what Fujin Xiaojie said. And restore this. Or. 
who changed your chosen and restore this voting range aid's power. Speaking of which, what's it got to do with voting? See, see? You're not that much brighter than Paimon. Hm. It's vote time. Not voting. Oh. Right. So complicated. So, since you mentioned it, what does vote type even mean? And why is it called range aid again? Exactly. What does it mean? Let's follow the Adeptus' instructions and search for... Adeptal energy. Nearby. What does bow tie mean? Is that a made up word? Yeah. Why are there hilla trills down here too? You don't belong here. Huh, oh, this jar! So he got bigger! Wow, this is. Wait, why did it shrink? Yeah. These are all different things. Monsters, watch out! Oh, wait, that was not Paimon. Ooh. Well, they're dead. Oh, no strange phenomenon. Another lump of Is this also condensed? From adeptal energy? Votive. Adjective. Offered or consecrated in fulfillment of a vow. Oh, suspicious. Right, well, I can't do anything about this. <laughs> Sussy objects. Ugh. Deep. Let's go over here first. Yeah. <laughs> 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 come from? Wait, why is there three? Can I die? Hmm, Seelies, and three of them. Is Paimon, do you guys often play with Seelies? Uh-huh, play together, yeah. Thanks, y'all. Aren't they, like, just the lost souls? Wow! Looks like the Sillies really like you guys. Sure! <laughs> yeah, that's it! Why is she nervous? Oh, oh, really? Why is Paimon acting weird? Suspicious! Again. <laughs> 